Hello and welcome back to Typing Teas, the show where I analyze your personality. Today we're going to be typing pumping pomegranate, a fruit tea with a bit of a kick. That's your first clue. The descriptive words that were given for this tea are sweet, tangy, mystical, and surprises. I'd like to invite you to take this opportunity to pause the video, contemplate these words, and make your guess as to which personality type best fits this tea. Make your guess in the comments and we'll see if we reach the same conclusion. The first word that I'm going to look at is mystical. This word typically encompasses mystery, awe, and fascination. Based on this, I'm going to eliminate our S types because both our SJs and our SPs are open books. With them, what you see is what you get, and there usually isn't some profound interior monologue going on within them. This isn't because they're incapable, it's simply because they're usually involved with what's immediately in front of them. Our next word is surprises. We're going to focus on the cognitive functions in order to narrow down our types here. Now, which of the eight cognitive functions is more likely to be spontaneous and value surprises? That's right, it's extroverted sensing. So I'm going to eliminate all of the types who don't have extroverted sensing in their cognitive function stack. To narrow this down even further, I'm going to eliminate the INTJ and the INFJ, because even though they do have extroverted sensing in their cognitive function stack, it's right down the bottom, which means that it's not very developed. So what we're left with now is our ENTJ and our ENFJ. The two adjectives that we're left with are sweet and tangy. Now, this is a tricky one. Obviously, you'd think that because of the adjective sweet, this has to go to the NF, right? Well, let's look a little closer. The ENFJ's number one cognitive function is extroverted feeling, which is a judging function. This means that it brings an already conceived judgment onto a situation and is focused on changing or fixing the people around it to fit what it believes is the best outcome. In this way, it is quite an assertive feelings-based function rather than a mellow, patient, relaxed function, like the word sweet suggests. Now, when you look at the word tangy, on the other hand, it very overtly carries tones of sourness or an overpowering flavor or smell, which much better fits our ENTJ's first cognitive function of extroverted thinking. So of these two words, the word tangy fits our ENTJ much better than the word sweet fits our ENFJ. Furthermore, if we take the word sweet to mean satisfying or pleasing in general, the ENTJ is perfectly capable of fitting this adjective, using its TE and NI to be efficient, creative, and successful in anything that it puts its mind to. So it was a bit of a tricky one today, folks, but nevertheless, I'm going to have to type pumping pomegranate as the ENTJ. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching another episode of Typing Teas. Good night.